Hi there, folks. Root Beer here, looking at A3 on our 2014 COMC Canadian Open paper. Uh, what have we got? A positive integer m has the property then that when it's multiplied by 12, so when it's 12m, the result is a four-digit number n of the form 2000AT2, or some digit a. What is the four-digit number n? So really, we just need to figure out what this digit A is. But down at the bottom here, they're going to want 2, 0, I don't know, 82, or what, whatever the, the digit A is. So it's not enough just to solve for A and put that down in the box. We do need to write the full number in. Okay. So what this really amounts to is we need 2, 0, A, T, 2 to be a multiple of 12. Right. As long as we're reading it right, when it's multiplied by 12, the result is a four-digit number. So how can we figure out what a we should get to have a multiple of 12? Well, how do you make a multiple of 12? 12 is 4 times 3. You know, you might say, well, it's also 2 times 6. Why are you writing this 4 times 3? 4 and 3 can be written as powers of prime. So we're completely separating it out. So... And because they have a uh, 4 and 3 have a GCD of 1, they, they have no factors in common, it is true to say that 12 divides a number exactly if both 4 divides that number and 3 divides that number. And it is a lot easier to test divisibility for 4 and 3 than ju to just straight up test divisibility for 12. There are tests for these things. Uh, tests you might know about. So to divide th by 3, you, 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 2, 0, a, 2 is only divisible by 3 if the sum, 2 plus 0, the sum of the digits, is divisible by 3. So this limits the range of possible values for a. Similarly, so these are divisibility rules. There's tons of them. You might know some of them. You might not know others. They're good things to know. Uh, but you get divisibility by 4 exactly if the last two digits are divisible by 4. Okay? And this makes the question a lot simpler. So A, what could A be? Well, A is just a single digit. It's somewhere between 0 and 9. So what's 4 plus A? Well, it's going to have to be somewhere in this range. So what are the multiples of 3 in this range? Well, 4 plus A could be 6 or 9, or 12. And then A could be 2, or 5, or 8. So those are the possible values for, for A. But then what does A2 look like? Well, it could be 22, or 52, or 82, but only one of them is a multiple of 4. Okay. The other two leave a remainder of 2 when you divide by 4. So that really forces A must be 5. And so what's our final answer? Not A, but N. We want to figure out, okay, 2052. And there we go. And if you wanted to, just to double check, is this divisible by 12? Well, you could just really quickly do long division by hand. Uh, how many 12s go into 85? 7 uh, with an 84. And there we go. It's, it's 171 times 12. And there we have it. So that was uh, A3. Up next will be A4, and that will finish off part A.